Happy lunchtime! It's chilly out here and my goofy self left my jacket inside, so uh, wanna bet this one will be a quick one? Probably. Well, we went almost a full week, I believe, before somebody came and dug out my compost again. It's pretty full, but it's mostly full with just wood chips and not as much on the food scraps, but what can you do? And then something else that I did. So it's like cold out here. It is barely above freezing, but these little ones are four weeks old now. And, um, starting already to crow. So, during my meetings for work, they're outside. <laughs> it seems to be helping. Um, I don't want them to disrupt an online work meeting. So when I know I'm gonna have one, I'm taking them out onto the porch uh, just, just for short periods of time so that they can start to get acclimated to what cold is and so that I can have a peaceful uh, work day that doesn't make me look like a crazy person, <laughs> you know? Look at Red Osh, your dogwood. This is that doll's eyes dogwood. Look how bright those are. Those are so cute. I need to transplant and pot those up. Uh, and then, oops, I didn't relatch the water this morning when I refilled this. Everybody's doing pretty well. Oh, look, you eat it all your food. I'll have to fill it back up for you, friends. So, yep, that, that is what's going on in here. Look how big Dot is. Huh, Dot? You big crazy. I'm gonna have to leg band these guys. I'm gonna put some, one of the blue, I got rainbow zip ties, but then I also got numbered leg bands. Um, I'm only gonna use numbered leg bands on ones that I'm keeping though. I'm gonna put blue on these guys. And then the ones that I thought were hens get purple. Zip ties around their ankles. So these, these both have purple zip tie ankle bracelets. Ah. And I also need to make another, um, cause this waterer hangs too low for this shorter brooder. I need to make another water out of another old used plastic container. So that's something else to do. Hi huh, friends. Hi Dooster. Ringy, what you doing? Hiding. Yeah. Ouch. Mm. Yeah, they're awesome. Interesting that that, you know, Rooster Dooster and Roosty Roo don't have the same like gray head feathers. It's really easy to tell roosters on this. I like that compared to, you know, Bunny's not really the same coloration. She's like a bleached out version of the same coloration. But yeah, that makes it really, really easy. And in a couple more weeks, we'll be able to vent sex to be sure. I have been hearing crowing from time to time, including from Sneaky Snuggler. Sneaky Snuggler definitely crows when I can see him. Huh, so you are definitely a boy. There's no more questions in mind. When will you start laying eggs, pearly butt? You're my only hen out of this one. And then we'll have to have a processing day, but that's still, we'll see how long we can wait without disrupting the neighborhood, honestly, because I don't want to upset the neighbors with too much rooster noise. They're way quieter than roosters, but 
If we've got anybody that crows all night or anything like that, that'll be a bigger problem. And they're getting close to full size, so it won't be that bad. Yeah, so it'll bring yins back inside. How's that sound? How's that sound to you? Sound good? Does this sound good? Hmm. Let me just let you watch rooster cam for a bit. How's that sound? I'm gonna go get a jacket. <laughs> Much, much better for me. Oh, by the way, on the stratification video from yesterday, that white pot right there is, is the bucket full of wood chips that I'm gonna lift and put those seeds out in a little less than a month. Oh, it looks like my uh, daffodils out of the pear transplant area have decided to bolt. Dear oh dear, I should pile some more soil in there. That hole does not need to be that big. And even if it did, I need to have enough soil in this area in order to be able to plant the persimmon here in, this, in the spring when it comes, since I ordered the persimmon. And I'm thinking, hmm, thinking about where I need to put that Arctic raspberry because zone seven is the hottest it can handle. So just like the Haskaps where they're gonna get scorched by a full day of our sun, because we have so much longer of a sunny day and it's such hotter sun here than, you know, just shy of the Arctic ring is where they're more comfortable. <laughs> They're happier plants up there. So I want to tuck them back in the shade so they can stay cooler, stay out of the heat. But they're also going to need fenced in. So maybe, maybe actually back along here. Because this gets shade from the shed first half of the day. And then it gets shade from the hedgerow the rest. So... Maybe back in here is but Oh, and it gets a lot of shade from the... Yeah. We'll plant them all through here. This will be... I'll plant them right on the edge of the fenced area, right here, so they can spread both directions, hopefully. More mushrooms. Oh, these are like little rock-hard little friends. Look at that. Neat. I think it's different than the ones that were down here. Sorry about the helicopter and the highway noise, but the helicopter is much louder than the highway. Yeah, these are two different things. Either that or these ones are bleached out by the sun and those aren't. Oh, look how big they are back in there where the leaves are. Oh, neat. Those are the same as these tiny dots. There's big ones right there. That's so cool. All right, so random, you know, added bonus mushroom explore. Oh, look, these ones went overripe and went bad on the plant. Huh, so goji berry maybe aren't all winter all the time, but enough of them. I am going to have to come out and harvest the rest. Because it looks like it's getting toward the end. 
now that we're like almost mid-January, it's getting toward the end of their harvest season. That's, that's pretty good for zone six, zone seven. We're 6B, but apparently, apparently we got warmer at some point. So yeah, this will all work out pretty well. So many mushrooms, I love mushrooms. They're such good news about the soil. It means the soil is very, very happy. <sighs> yep, so that's what we got going on here. And I hope you're having a really good day. Oh, look at that. That's an angle we don't actually look up at often enough. Beautiful. We'll go look off, off to the southeast. How's that sound? And then I'll go take my little friends back inside so they don't have to be too acclimated to the cold yet. All right. Thank you so much for visiting the cliffside. This has been Permaculture. I'm so glad I put on a jacket. Take care. Bye.